Welcome to Spotlights on Alibi TV, that show that brings your favorite celebrity close to you right there in your living room and helps you learn them even better. I'm your host, Alisa Emma, and today I have yet another special guest in the studio with me. If you want to find out, you have to stay tuned. <laughs> I have in the studio with me a very special guest. He is known all over Nigeria and of course across Nigeria and let's say the world, of course. He is Nigeria's king of sax, like he's referred to. And yes, once I say that, you already know who I have in the studio. None other but Yemi Sax. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> Welcome you very much. to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. I should tell you to thank you, not you. You're welcome. I must say that you surprised me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I expected you to be like, oh, macho and yeah, yeah, don't talk to me, don't touch me. But uh, you're down to earth, yeah. you're humble. <laughs> really? Yeah. Anyway, you've been just there, you've I'm been a, having fun. I'm a, I'm a simple person though. So. How, do you, how do you manage to stay grounded with all this fame? How do you manage that? Anyway, it all depends on the kind of person you are. Mm. Then it now depends. It also depends on, you know, how, how you grew up mm. and stuff like that. So it's, that's me, man. So I'm not faking it. Mm. <laughs> You're not faking? No, at all. So can you like... Okay, if you say so, let me not push it further. Let me just let it. Rest. That's me. Trust okay, me. so now you spoke about your family. Okay, cool. So how many are you? What's your position? You know, in the children line. I'm actually the last born. Ah, high five. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Last born. Yes. I'm really? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So you know, you know what I mean when I say mm -hmm. I'm there. But I'm not that spoiled type, though. But you were pampered. Mm -hmm, a little bit, yeah. Sure. We like to say a little bit, but we know what we mean. <laughs> we're really extremely pampered. But we just come out and say, nah, not so much. We're just there. No, my, my mom is a disciplinarian. So mm -hmm. even my when I'm pampered, it doesn't mean that. Okay. She won't tell me when I'm doing something wrong. So. so you were born into a royal family. Sure, sure. So why did you decide to do music? Why not politics? Something close to, you know. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I'm supposed to be a business administrator. Mm, nice. You know, but you know what it is when music takes over you. Yeah. You know, once you find yourself doing music, it takes over you. Takes over you, you know, it takes all your time and everything. So, my father does um, worked with um, Savannah Bank. Okay. You know, he also worked with Bank of America for a couple of years. Mm. You know, then he does some church music. You know, alongside so music That's started right. from home for me. Yeah. yeah. Then I okay. take it up. You, you I took spoke it up. About your father just yeah. Now. Uh, I read that he was the first person to sing gospel music in Nigeria. Yeah, he was actually the first person to release, to release. gospel music in Nigeria. So, does that like give you some sort of standard that you have to reach or beat? Does it like keep you on your toes somehow? How do you feel about having that kind of standard to, you know, level up to? Anyway, um, I'm just going to say that he is actually a hard-working man, you know, the same way he, he was great in terms of putting music together, you know, he was also great in, you know, the banking stuff too. So, you know, it's, it can be so challenging. But trust me, um, I'm trying my best, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I can boldly tell you that I, I, I make him proud every day. Nice, yeah. nice. That's the best thing, yeah. making your parents proud. So now, um, you can play various instruments like the piano, the guitar, violin, sure. church organs, clarinet, sure. and the rest. So why did you pick out sax? You really read about me so much. <laughs> That's nice. Anyways, um, I'm a multi-instrumentalist. You know, I'm a fantastic pianist. Um, I was once a violinist. I worked with Muzon Orchestra mm -hmm. for a couple of years as a first violinist. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
I worked with different, you know, music professors and, you know, people, respected musicians, you know, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. So, I'm a multi-instrumentalist. I just chose to make saxophone my, my major because it looks like I love saxophone the most mm -hmm. <laughs> out of all the saxophone musical like instruments I play. Trust me, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. now, in Nigeria, when we hear of saxophonists, it's like the church is the first place you find them or majorly the only place you find them it's rare to see we just have a few saxophonists that yeah. branch off so what informed your branching off if i'll put it that way really i'm i'm gonna say yemi sax yemi sax is a musician okay you know of course we've got gospel musicians and you know different genre of music because when you look at genre of music we have gospel now yeah. You know, we have different kind of... I'm just an inspirational musician, you know. Okay. I perform in different places. Though I do, I do less of, you know, church performances because you know how Nigerians can yeah. be now. You are a Nigerian, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. So I do more of corporate events, though. Okay. You know, I've worked with, like, all the top multinationals, you know. You okay. know, so that's what I do more. So, more. Um, you were, or are you still a UN Peace Ambassador? I am still, You're still yeah. A UN. Sure. So how do you blend that job with your music? Anyway, it, 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 can, be, it can be a little di difficult mm -hmm. because, you know, most times I miss a lot of the meetings and stuff mm -hmm. like that because mm -hmm. maybe I have to be in another country, I have to be here, I have to be there, but at the same time, I still balance it. Yeah, I okay. still try to, you know, balance it. So you have, currently you have four albums. Sure. Out. In the market. Sure. And can I say this? You can, yes. Yeah, your, sure. your fifth is about to be released. By his grace. By his grace. But if you notice now, um, Nigerians know you more with cover versions of songs. Okay. Why did you decide to do that much covers? Okay, I'm just going to say it's... It's a way of giving our own song or any international song because I don't do Nigerian songs alone. Though I do more of Nigerian songs, yeah. you know, I've done a couple of international songs too as okay. a sax cover. So it's just a kind of giving it, giving it a longevity okay. because most of these com songs comes and they go just like that. And these are beautiful songs, sure. you know. So it's just Yemi Sax, what Yemi Sax does to people's music is making it a evergreen song. You know, giving it a, a kind of longevity. Yeah. You know, let people listen to it after a cu couple of years. Yeah. Jazz music doesn't die. It doesn't die. Instrumentals yeah. doesn't die. So that's yeah. what Yemi Sax represents. And you know how to pick just the right ones. I mean, bankies, yes or no? Or yeah, maybe. sure. Just sure. Cool. But, 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 really, the way the way I choose, I don't just do songs because the songs are hits. Yeah. You know, the songs has to get to me first. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm in love with the melody, the lyrics of the song, or the, you know, it can be anything.